in on the year. First pitch from Cody Adcock, grounded foul. Here's a high fly ball to right field. Leatherwood on the run to the track, and that ball is gone. A solo home run for Liam Hicks. Fifth home run of the season for Hicks, and Arkansas State takes a 1-0 lead. Stop and grab the shin guard on the way around, Mr. Hicks. Take your time. Yeah, two really good swings in a row. Tipton just missed his to left, and Hicks did not miss this one. This one hit the opposite way through the left side of the infield for a base hit for Tyler Duncan. Couple of hits. This ball on the ground to short. Gonzalez over to Calvin Harris, and that ends the inning. So for Tyler Jeans, four batters faced, and now five, and he gives up his first base hit. Justin Bench goes down and gets one and sends it to left field, and he's trying to turn it into two. Throw comes to the cutoff man. A one-out double. For the Rebel third baseman, Justin Bench. Weekend of the season. There's a swing and a miss. Ole Miss strands the runner. Hicks hits this one fair down the right field line, and that's going to be extra bases for the Arkansas State first baseman. He will head into second, throw a little offline. Lead off double. How about a home run and a double in your three balls and a strike? Outside, and Arkansas State has first and second with nobody out here in the top of the. It's in the first to score maybe a couple more. Duncan lifts this one to left center field, and that ball slicing away from McCants all the way to the wall, a one hopper. McCants then drops it, throw comes in. Only one run going to come around to score. Get up. One, two. Bench able to cut it off at third, has to hurry the throw, gets it over to Harris just in time to beat the runner. You weren't getting one of those diploma things, huh? Came eventually. This ball scoots past Klutz at third base out into left field. Base hit for Ben Van Cleve in his first at bat of the game. First time Ole Miss has had the leadoff man on in an inning. And he grounds this one off the glove of the first baseman Hicks and then the second baseman Gish. Thought he was going to have a play and then couldn't handle it. So first and second, nobody out. Infield's going to lay a bunt down. And he lays a near-perfect one down. Jeans can't field it. Ole Miss has got the bases loaded with nobody out. This ball hammered through the left side of the infield. A base hit for Peyton Chatagne. Calvin Harris going to try to come around to score. The throw from DeShazer not in time. Harris gets under the throw. A two-run single for Chatagne, and it's 2-2. And when you look at the remaining schedules, Arkansas of the three has the most difficult remaining schedule. Jacob Gonzalez comes home to score on the wild pitch. Chatagne gets to second. And Dunhurst is ahead 1-0 in the count. This ball lined up the center, up the middle for a base hit for Justin Bench. That is his second hit of the game, an RBI single. That scores Chatagne and Ole Miss now leads it 4-2. The third Ole Miss leading 4-2, Leatherwood lifts it to right. Long run for Tipton. He gets there, reaches up, and makes the catch to end the inning. Ike's doing it quickly. 0-2 oh, pitch, this time a breaking ball. Chopped third base side. Klutz throws across and just off the mark, and Ben Van Cleve likely going to get an infield single there. Takes low for ball four, so Calvin Harris... Hits it on the ground. That's fielded by the second baseman. Tries to glove flip. Not in time at second. Not in time at first. And then Chatagne lines it the opposite way for another base hit. Van Cleve comes home to score. Calvin Harris slams on the brakes at third. And Ole Miss leads 5-2. to two. Misses with four in a row to Kevin Graham. A bases loaded walk. He picks up an RBI. He extends that streak out of 37 straight games, reaching safely. Played a limited number of games. He is hit, though, in the back there. And another run will come home to score. Justin Bench picks up the RBI. This year has been middle and pulled. Missed tag there. Throw to first. Gets away. One run comes home to score. Here comes another. McCants will scoot to second. That's a couple of times 
Things have not gone the way Gish wanted them to on the middle of the infield with the ground ball. And this ball hit hard into right field by Hayden Leatherwood. Justin Bench will come home to score. And Leatherwood takes second as the throw comes toward the plate, even with McCants not trying to come around. Ground ball to short. That'll score a run. McCutcheon over to Hicks for the second out of the inning. Jacob Gonzalez lifts one to left to Shazer on the run. He'll make the catch shy of the track, and the inning comes to an end. 3-1 pitch. This one's hit sharply up the middle. A base hit for Will Huber. First hit of the game. Two-out single for Huber now. 0 for 2 with a fly out and a ground down, and he flies this one to right. Chatagne going back, calling for it, makes the catch, and Arkansas State. And its restrictions lifted back around the beginning. Pitch misses back-to-back -back walks from Mitch Morrell after a ground out to start the inning. This ball is fair down the right field line. That's the second time tonight that Hicks has been able to get one just inside the first base bag. He will cruise into second with a two-run double, and it's now 11-4. Projected field from D1 Baseball. This is a high fly ball to left field. Kevin Graham going back, gets to the wall, and that ball is gone as Ben Klutz goes deep for the fourth time this season. A two-run home run off of Braden Forsythe. And it's now 11 to 6. So Klutz in the first inning just missed one. Fly ball to left field. It was a swing, just missed a home run. Really good swing. The Shazer hits this one deep to left center field. Kevin Graham on the run. That one it goes out of the yard as well. Third home run of the game for Arkansas State. Jalen DeShazer hits his fourth long ball of the year. And the Red Wolves are clawing their way back into this game, now down 11 to 7. Whew. Vanderbilt, LSU, and Mississippi State, final three weekends for Alabama. Ooh. Line the opposite way, that is a base hit. Leatherwood knocks it down, he'll send it in towards second. That's a double for McCutcheon, driving the ball the opposite way. This ball hit toward left center. Graham on the run. That's not going to get there. It goes all the way to the wall. Two more runs score. Gish cruises into second. And we've got a two-run game in Oxford in the top of the sixth inning. As Arkansas State has scored seven to make it 11-9. to nine. Yeah, just fastball hard of the plate. Arkansas State's just locked in. Arkansas State taking some really good swings tonight. Gish with another one. Graham can't run it down. And Arkansas State. This ball hit hard in the air to right field. It's over the glove of Leatherwood. Jake Gish comes around from second to score. That is an RBI double for the nine-hole hitter, Roland. And Arkansas State is just teeing off right now. This one chopped left side. Bench will cut it off, throw over to first. And he gets Drew Tipton to bring the inning to an end. Eight. Leatherwood, good swing. He hits it to third off the glove. And now Leatherwood, aggressive, thought about second. I think if he had seen that initially kick away, probably could have gotten to second base, but deals. And Cleve hits this one up the middle sharply. Good piece of hitting. Plumley never thought about checking up. He goes first to third. And Ole Miss has runners at the corners with nobody out. Three-hit ball game for Ben Van Cleve. Yeah, Trying to answer. And Calvin Harris lifts this one the opposite way. John Rice Plumley will tag at third base after the catch from DeShazer. Will come home to score. And it's now a two-run lead for the Rebels, 12 to 10. Jacob Gonzalez has one hit tonight. Make it two as he lines that one to right. Ben Van Cleve goes first to third. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit off the glove of the shortstop, McCutcheon. Gonzalez goes first to third. An RBI single for Peyton Chatagne. Now a four RBI night for him. And the Rebels lead it 13 to 10. Up a little bit. 
One two pitch. Kevin Graham may have gotten enough to get the run home. Gonzalez tagging at third. He'll head toward the plate. Pretty good throw, and he is out at home. Not a pretty good throw, a great throw from Duncan in right field. Pinch goes the opposite way. Duncan coming in, diving for it, and can't haul it in. Great effort by Duncan in right field. Three hit night for Justin Bench. Kantz goes the opposite way, and that ball drops down into the left field corner, goes all the way to the wall. Justin Bench will come around. He's going to try to score. He'll do so without a throw. An RBI double for T.J. McCants. This one in on the hands, popped to shallow right field. The second baseman, Gish, had his feet go out from under him. McCants running the whole way with two outs, comes around to score. An RBI single. Swings and misses. Chased a fastball out of the zone. This ball hit well to left. Kevin Graham, he'll trot back and then watch it leave the yard as Gish gets a home run. Fifth of the year. Gish was 0 for 3 through his first three at bats. But he has been on time with the last two swings. A two-run double in the sixth inning and a solo home run here in the eighth. Ole Miss doesn't have a 1-2-3 inning tonight. Arkansas State's made every inning a challenge. Cale Baker makes the catch. Just a couple of steps into the outfield grass. 1-2 pitch. Lifted to right for a base hit. Four-hit night for Liam Hicks. And that big high leg lift and just drove it to right field out in front of John Rice Plumley. 1-2. Chopper, and that's over Baker's head. Scoots out into shallow right field. Chatagne cuts it off. He'll send the throw toward third base. Now runner trying to move up. Probably an ill-advised throw there by Chatagne. Allowed an extra base for Ben Klutz after his single. 2-2. Two -two. Crown ball right side. Chatagne. One away. Ole Miss certainly okay with trading it out for a run as Hicks comes home to score. The 0-2. Check swing, fielded by Diamond. He'll throw over to Baker, and that ends it. 